the heck out of these guys. Oh, yeah. Undo it. Where, dude, Jeff Saturday is in his second round of interviews with the Colts. Wow. That interview should have lasted five seconds. Have you ever blown a 33-point lead? Yup, bye. Done. That's, that's, the whole, that's the whole conversation. Done. In a half. So, I've got tight ends. I've got receivers. I've got running backs, quarterbacks. Uh, what I put is like the like edge rusher slash Chris Jones is in there. He's not an edge rusher. And then we could do like just general offense. I mean, defense, if we want to rank those as well. Mm -hmm. Um, Where do you want to start? So we just running backs. It's, it's kind of tandems for each team. Yeah. So let's just start with running backs. All right. Running backs. Oh God. I think this is a little tricky because McCaffrey's got a calf contusion. It's 49ers or Eagles. Um, I would say yeah, the Niners have the best running backs, McCaffrey and Elijah uh, Mitchell. Because it's between Miles Sanders, and then you have like Gainwell and Boston Scott. I do think that there's a little bit of a drop off. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think you can go 49ers first, and then you could go Eagles second. I agree with that. Because CMC is also such like a dual, like he's a quadruple threat. The guy can freaking right. throw the ball if you want him to. Right. So I would do that. My goodness. Hold on. My computer. I'm two? doing it, Peter. How many? Wait, do you have two Christian McCaffreys? Yeah. Okay. I thought so. Um, why? <laughs> well, because sometimes the uh, all the images don't import. Sometimes there's like a size issue. So like I just... Okay. I grab two just to be okay. safe. Okay. All right. So then we'll put the Eagles at number two. Eagles at two. And this is where we're going to okay. disagree. I put the Bengals at three. Pacheco is very good. It's Pacheco, though. I think Mixon and P. Ryan together are better than Pacheco. In my humble opinion. Where's Sanders? Where is Miles? <laughs> the problem is, is I know you put all these in. You're like, crap, I don't know all of these guys' faces. <laughs> so yeah. I need to go look them up. I got them. I got them. I need the numbers to help. Yeah, I get that, man. I get that. I got... Did I grab <laughs> Miles Sanders? Where are you? <laughs> the numbers do. Oh, McKinnon. Yeah, mm. McKinnon's very good. I don't know. I just, I like P. Ryan and I like Mixon more. I, it's we're doing it off of groups so like this is running backs first yeah all right so you're so, saying for three who do you like for three i like the Bengals, but people are bringing up mckinnon and i get that Ooh. don't get, but like also mckinnon did i mean i know mckinnon stayed into block a lot against the jaguars yeah. but mckinnon is like that wild card i think like you can rely on Mixon and p ryan and they can be consistent it's hard because mckinnon is the 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 chief's third leading receiver yeah. So because I was like, oh yeah, we got you know Kelsey's tight end, and I have duos for all the receivers. So I'm like Juju Smith Schuster. And I was like, I don't know who the Chiefs' second leading ball catcher was, and it's Jarek McKinnon. Um, I would give the Chiefs yeah, the edge know. there just because McKinnon's used so much in the passing game. Uh, and outside of that, like one crazy four touchdown game for Joe Mixon, and don't get me wrong, he and P Ryan played well last week. It feels like they haven't been as dominant. At least Mixon had a much better season in 2021 than he did this year. Sure. And that's why I would give Pacheco McKinnon the and that's what I'm saying. Like them. When Mixon was out, P. Ryan played really, really well. Yeah. But I get so it. You I'm could really like how they're you, Who do you how do you rank them here? You could, you know what? I get yeah, though, know, because you could use on how they're utilized, and McKinnon is utilized all over the field. So you could put the Chiefs there. I get that. Chiefs at three, Bengals yeah, at it. four for running backs. Yeah, I get it. I understand, like, again, like, I personally, in just this style, like, running backs, I give the nod to P. Ryan and Mixon. Overall player, you could, like, say, like, McKinnon is utilized more. So, I get that. Pacheco and McKinnon. <laughs> just like, we need to compare the faces in the, they're also small. 
They are small. Okay. All right. So do we want to do, you'd have tight ends next? Yeah, we could do tight ends. All right. Well, Kelsey. Oh, <laughs> uh, is Kelsey? Oh, there he is. Okay. I was going to say, is Kelsey the only one I forgot? <laughs> it's Kelsey. Yeah. It's yeah. Kelsey, be Kelsey, number one. Kittle, two. Now, two and three. Uh, yeah. Kittle and Dallas Godert. Yeah. Kittle's two. It's, okay. Yeah. Okay. Goddard is, is, it could be three. But I will say, Hayden Hurst has been playing really well. He played really, really well against the Bengals. But yeah. I would, I'd put him underneath Shoot Goddard. talent. Uh, Hurst, uh, he kind of, he also to me gets a knock because he looks like he should be living in an, uh, Amish community, not playing in the NFL. Okay. (laughs) That he looks like a, uh, sadistic preacher from the 1800s. It's like... Every like a horror movie where the the preacher turns out to be the evil character, that is what Hayden Hurst looks like to me. So because of that, you're gonna take some points off, I guess. Yep. Okay. 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 Wow. So the Bengals, the bottom, bottom boy Bengals. Interesting, Tom. I know. Or, yeah. Hayden Hurst on there. Yep. So now let's just go overall defense, and we can use the the logos for this. Okay. Since we're not doing like secondary and everything, but uh, fourth best defense heading into this weekend. Who do you think? I think it's the Chiefs. 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 Ooh, okay. Yep. Chiefs. Okay. Then I put the Bengals. Ooh, interesting. Do you concur? Yeah, sure. I agree. All right. Then I'd put the Eagles and I'd put the 49ers, even though the 49ers have issues with their secondary. Yeah. I'd put it's, them a step above. This is where like I'm kind of stuck because if you're looking at the entire season, I think 49ers. Yeah. But based Eagles, on this last stacked. weekend, the Eagles just they're they get after the quarterback so well. But okay, yeah, I'll give 49ers one. Yeah, Eagles, Eagles led the league in sacks. Yep. Yeah, 70. They almost broke the record. Yeah. Even though it would have been a fake record because they had an extra game. But yeah, they had five right. sacks last week. Um, okay. All right. That yeah, feels no, right. And the secondary for the 49ers, I'm like, eh, yeah. but yeah. And in the power rankings, this is what I said the Chiefs should be concerned about is the Bengals just beat uh the Ravens and the Bills, who have had like the second and third best scoring defenses in the league. Mm-hmm. So the Bengals are about to play their worst defensive opponent of all the postseason. Yeah. So. All right. So we got running backs. We got tight ends. We got defenses. Do we want to do wide receivers? Sure. Okay. This Ooh. is challenging. <laughs> I think the Chiefs actually have the worst wide receivers. I would agree with that. We got I would agree with that. that. Do And did I do? Did I have two McKinnons in here? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh wait, yes I did. There we go. Because okay. if if McKinnon's their second leading receiver, I just had to have him as the duo. <clears throat> but it kind of is... doesn't matter because Travis Kelsey is the number one tight end. It balances yeah. out. Okay. okay. Um <sighs> number one is easy for me. You put in the Bengals? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Because they just have so many weapons. Because it's three guys. Yeah, got, it literally um, is. You got Tyler Boyd. You got Jamar Chase. <laughs> you got T. Higgins. Yeah. I think you have two Jamar Chases. Yeah, I do have two Jamars. <laughs> Hi, T. Higgins. So this is where it gets a little tricky. I, I think you give this two to the Eagles. Yeah. I because Devonte Smith and just. AJ Brown are so effing good. Are those just two different pictures? Are they the same picture? I got two AJs. Um, yeah, I think like if the Bengals didn't have three guys, yeah, Brown and Devontae Smith would be number one for me. Um, 
but you know Boyd and Higgins they would be like you would a lot of people say Higgins would be a number one on any other team mm-hmm. uh Boyd is a number two um like if it was yeah if it was just Jamar and T Higgins I would probably give AJ Brown and Devonte Smith I would too. Yep. Edge, even though I think Jamar Chase is the best wide receiver in the playoffs of all the players I think it's him then Brown yeah yeah I agree with that. So then the 49ers would be third. Oh, yeah. They got Ayuk and Debo. Yeah. Which are very good. But. Okay. So then we got quarterback, right? That's it. Uh, oh, edge defense. We got. Oh. Yeah. Mm. And I got Chris Jones in there for the Chiefs. I was like, I'm not going to put Frank Clark in here. <laughs> Or Karloftis yet. Okay. But the best edge rusher, I believe... I, I Damn it. Nick Bosa, I guess, number one. Yeah, Bosa won. But I'm giving uh, Hassan Reddick number two. I think he's My the God. second. He's been great two years in a row, too, because he was amazing on the Cardinals. Three, because he played in... Uh, actually played in Carolina last year. <laughs> oh, it was Carol- so it was the Cardinals the year before? Yeah. So the okay. Cardinals were stupid, let him go. They and let him the Panthers were stupid and let him go. Yeah. I agree with uh, that. Then I would go Chris Jones or Trey Hendrickson. I go Chiefs. I go Chiefs. Yeah. Bengals. Jones, Hendrickson. There you Boom. go. There you go. Wow. All right. Now it's the one that matters. It's QB. <laughs> now it's the one that. Um. Oh, see, Mahomes is hurt. <laughs> So I mean, like, that's the X factor, sure. That's. I still think he's the best. Uh, even when he was hurt last week, he was still making plays. After he got that shot, that. Okay, we'll make this easy. Purdy last, yeah. <laughs> Let's start there. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Purdy last. Okay, we got that one. We got that one. Hmm. The top three are really tough. That's really difficult. <laughs> because I if Mahomes wasn't hurt. The three is number one. <clears throat> if Mahomes wasn't hurt, I'm like, he's one. And that's that's obvious. <sighs> Crap, man. I how I'm, low would you put Mahomes? How that, how much do you think that ankle injury is affecting him? Is the question. I, oh man, the risk, like the, I'm, there's a possibility of me putting him at three, but I don't, but I'm thinking Hertz takes that, but then Hertz is good too. It just, oh my God. I really like Joe Burrow. I don't think Joe Burrow should be below two. I know, but if you put Mahomes at one, I don't think Jalen Hurts deserves to be below two either. Hmm. Mm, wow, the toughest decision. People want to know where Chad Henney is. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen. Hmm. I. Oh, you want to go Burrow, Hurts, Mahomes? Hurts, Burrow, Mahomes? Honestly, I would go Burrow, Hurts, Mahomes. Oh, what a controversial move. And it's only because Mahomes is injured. If Mahomes isn't injured, it's Mahomes at one. And it's still difficult. But then I put Burrow and then I put Hurts. I just believe in Joe Burrow more because he's been here before. And like, I just, it's just the experience that's there. Hurts, this is his like full, because we saw him last year in the playoffs and he sucked. He sucked. And then he had this great season this year. Right, and we've seen him play in one game, which he was very, very good. I just, yeah, Burrow to me is like I just think that he is on an insane level right now. Okay, best throwback logo. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the Bengals. It's the Bengals. Worst it's Bengals. is the Chiefs because they were the they were in Texas. Uh, <laughs> Eagles. No, similar. Eagles are two. Eagles are two. 
Give me that weird gunslinging 49er at two. Yeah, gold's in these hills, and I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna shoot that gold. <laughs> okay. All right. We did it. We right. You did it. it. You did it. So wait, happy? hold on, hold on, what? hold on, hold on. We gotta go back. Gotta go okay, back. we go back. How many? Who has the most players at number one? We got. Oh man, the Bengals got four dudes. The nine. But they also have got... one extra wide receiver. Yeah. Wow. I think the Eagles are. Here's why I would argue. Here's like here's what really Eagles are pretty consistent at two. Yeah, they're solid there. The Chiefs don't have uh, a lot up top. Which where did we rank the Eagles? Number two. Number two. See, like Mahomes is so good, he makes he makes up for the rest of this. Yeah. Mahomes and Kelsey are just they elevate all the rest of the team's flaws. 100%. And it's not like they're flawed, like they're bad. It's just like you can argue other teams have better uh, skill players at the receiving positions, running back, defense, dynamic playmakers. So he really carries him. So if this injury does limit him, it's going to be huge. 